What's going on everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod. I'm back with another Hackintosh video and today I'm unboxing the Corsair H80 uh, liquid CPU cooler. Um, upgrading to this for a number of reasons. Uh, one, I want to get, I'm upgrading from my stock CPU fan, which it's not bad, but it definitely could be better. It's going to make, this is going to make it a little quieter as well as uh, give it a lot better performance and also allow me to overclock eventually when I go ahead and do that. Uh, so let's just cut right into this. I'm also going to be making an installation video on this uh, coming soon. I picked this up at Micro Center. It was on sale. Um, usually it's $109. I think it was like $90 or something. And um, I also got a few fans for my case as well because I have some open spots for fans, which I'll be installing. So let's just open this up right here. Pretty nice packaging, feels solid styrofoam. Um, anyway, here we go, we've got a bunch of stuff. Right here we've got our two fans. Uh, these are, I don't know what size these fans are. They look like 120, mi 120 millimeter fans. Um, but it comes with two of them. You need one for the front and back of the radiator. Um, we've also got our bracket right here to mount to our motherboard. So uh, I'm going to be using this. I have an 1155 socket motherboard. I have the uh, the Gigabyte Z7, uh, Z77X D3H motherboards, so this will work with that. It says it works with all... Let's just get a look at it right here. Um, Intel LGA 775, 1155, which is what I have, 1156. Uh, 1366 and 2011, as well as the AMD AM2 and AM3. So it works with a bunch of different boards. Got some candy there. Everybody on YouTube calls that candy. Um, here we've got, we've got the, uh, actual cooler. Let's take that out and I'll just set it aside. We'll get a closer look at that in just a second. We've also got our hardware, so a ton of screws for this set those aside and um, let's take the rest of the stuff out real fast. We've also got, throw this out, um, read this, do not return to store, solutions guide for like all their other products, as well as an installation manual, which looks pretty actually easy to follow. It's got um, a ton of pictures on it. So I'm probably going to be using that and maybe some YouTube videos, but I'll put my own installation video up of me trying to figure it out. Let's take a closer look at the actual cooler. I actually went into the store to buy the H60. Um, this was only $20 more, again, because this was on sale. And I also figured that, um, the girl told me that, that if I was going to overclock, the H60 would allow me to do a little bit of overclocking, but this is definitely going to give me a lot more power, um and availability to overclock. So here it is, uh, we've got the cooler right there, we've got thermal paste on the other side pre-applied. Our radiator is right here, which is gonna attach to my case. And the two fans is gonna go, one are gonna go on either side of this radiator here. So that's pretty neat. Um, can't wait to make some videos on this. This thing is gonna be awesome once it's fully installed. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything and I will catch you in my next video. See ya.